Hey, thanks for shopping at Motorcycle Superstore, where you can find super deals super fast. I'm JC, and today we're taking a look at a new 2013 helmet from Fly Racing. This is the F2 Carbon Andrew Short Replica Helmet. This is the blue lime, it also comes in gray-black. Those are replica models, or you can go with the Signature Edition, which is an orange-blue color, similar to what you can see over my left shoulder here. Um, now, what you're going to find with this helmet is a special uh, shell. Hence the name F2 Carbon. It's made from a woven carbon fiber and Kevlar composite shell. They've combined these materials and what you get is something that's very strong and very light. Uh, lightweight helmets tend to cause less fatigue during the course of a moto or an off-road race. Uh, they also help with the comfort factor. Speaking of comfort, there are 11 intake vents on this helmet. That's going to keep a lot of cool air coming in the front. You can see that the chin bar has a lot, two on each side, and then a big mouthpiece. There's also some vents up top. These vents let air directly into the interior of the helmet, while these ones on the brow, those are called anti-fog vents. There's actually three of them, and they direct air down onto your goggle lenses or behind the lenses, so that's going to push the warm, moist air out, and you can actually see what's in front of you. The vents have a really nice mesh on them and this actually comes into effect uh, whether you're racing in the mud or you know even just regular dirt or if you're off-road and you're bashing your way through trees and brush it's going to keep debris from getting inside clogging up those vents it also makes it a lot easier to clean what I like about this helmet or one of the features I like are the aluminum pieces of hardware I like aluminum screws on the on the helmet visor here um, it matches really well with the mesh like we were just talking about you're also going to find it on the d-ring which is what secures it underneath your chin. The eye port is fairly generous. It allows uh, several sets of, or brands of goggles to go inside. I've actually been wearing the Trey Canard version of the F2, which you can see over my right shoulder. And I haven't had any problems with different types of goggles going in and out. Plenty of room to see and uh, get those in and out without problem. One of those, or one thing that plays into that, is the roost guard. It's got a nice roost guard here on the nose but it's not really large. It's, you know, it's just enough to keep rocks from coming in and smashing up your nose, but at the same time, it's not a hindrance when you're trying to get your goggles off or trying to get them back in. Something else you'll notice is that uh, the helmet has a little bit of contour to it. It's not completely smooth, but it's fairly minimal nonetheless. It's going to have just a little bit here on the back, which is where the vents are located. This also serves as a guide for your goggle strap, so you're not gonna have it, uh, you know, way too low or way up high looking like a spode out on the racetrack. Moving inside the helmet, that's where we're going to find more comfort features as well as safety features. It's got a comfort liner which is easy to remove and what that allows for is obviously some cleaning aspects. Um, yanking out the cheek pads and the comfort liner and you can just throw those right into the washing machine. Keep it clean, keep it sanitary. It also helps the helmet last longer over time. This is a size medium helmet. The cheek pads that come in it are 35 millimeters. I've had no problem with the fit on my face and they've actually held up and resisted breaking down too much in the couple months that I've been wearing it. As you pull the liner out, you get a better idea of what's underneath. And this is kind of special stuff. This is a dual density EPS foam liner. The dual density allows for it to absorb impact in a progressive fashion. So when your head smacks the ground, uh, it's going to be a little bit softer in some areas and a little bit stiffer in others. You can see that here on the crown. Uh, there's one piece as well as the main body which is around the sides of the helmet. The channels in there work in conjunction with the vents. These channels go to several holes drilled in the EPS liner and that allows for air to get in close to the head. It allows to pull that hot air out the back and it's going to keep you comfortable over time. One nice feature here also since we're looking at the inside is it has a small name tag. Uh, it also has some medical information which can be handy if you are in a bad accident and emergency responders have to give you assistance. This helmet is available in multiple sizes. Uh, as far as adult sizing goes, it runs extra small up to a 2XL. This is, like I said, a size medium. It's also available in youth sizes. Those range from size small to size large for kids so they can look like their favorite racer, Andrew Short, just the same. It's available in multiple colors. You can see more of those online and check out a little bit more information, some more photos and get a better feel for it. So go ahead and order one up, take a look at it, and you'll be off and running just like Andrew Short. Thanks for taking a look. See you next time.